to tonight's recap of The Bachelorette. Hello, we're in Venezia. They're in Venice. Please, please, pigeons, poop on them, please. There are a lot of pigeons there. I would not be surprised if they had to cut out a lot of poop video. Maybe, because they've already shown that on this season, yeah. so you don't want too much poop. You well, don't want to go full poop. The first one-on-one -on -one date began right when Andy got to greet the guys. Yeah, she was like, there's no date cards. Stop. <laughs> and they were like, okay, but what's the date all about? It's gonna start right now. Yeah, so everyone was thinking, oh, it's gonna be Cody because he's the only one who hasn't had a one-on-one -on -one yet. Nope, it's Nick. What? That's a villain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! this Nobody was... likes Nick. Yeah, I think, okay, so first of all, everyone was PO'd that Cody didn't get the one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Then, on top of that, for Nick to get it, ooh, that was not sitting Twist well with the other knife. guys. So they started off with a lovely gondola ride, mm -hmm. and they got a piece of pizza, which really looked like a freaking frozen Ilio slab of pizza. Italian pizza is not, not what we eat here. No. And the pigeons, they were all over their heads and their arms. And Pigeon selfie! <laughs> Stop! She wants questions <laughs> answered. And yeah. That's why she invited Nick on this date and not Cody. Yeah, they kind of had a weird thing last week because she was like, I don't really want to be with a guy who, like, other people don't like. Yeah. So he had some tension with the other guys last week, and that made her think, like, mm, maybe not. Let's rehash the cocktail party from last week. All right, we're not doing that the whole video. <laughs> no. <laughs> he promises he'll do better. She liked that he owned up to what he did last week, and he's like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I guess. All right, well, meanwhile, the group date card arrives back at the hotel. Moment of truth for Cody, a.k.a. Hulk Low. Hulk Low get date. Happy. <laughs> he wasn't on this date card, which means he gets the other one-on-one -on -one date. But this uh, group date card's tagline was, I'm looking for true love. Blah. All right, so the one-on-one -on -one date continued, and they went under the Bridge of Sighs. I call it the Bridge of... <sighs> Yeah. So if you kiss under the bridge of size, it's like eternal love or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Dinner, we'll see. Dinner date. She arrives with a mask, but then she took it off. <laughs> <laughs> she then brings up the whole salty slash Cody from last week, mm -hmm. you know, sitch, and he's like, Probably dying on the inside. Like, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. That didn't happen. S T F U. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So then she was like, "Okay, well, you said you're a front runner. Do you still? Do you think you're a front runner?" And he was just like, Ugh. "I don't like that word." Yeah, he backpedaled. Well, what word do you like? Yeah, but he finally lied enough to where she was like, "Okay." Yeah. So then he's like, "You know what?" I'm falling in love. Too much. I'm sure he was reaching for something just enough to keep him that week, but I think he went too far, because what's he going to pull out of the bag for next week? I'm in love. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do think um, it's not just him, though. A lot of the guys are going for that super early. Very early. Like, they didn't even have hometowns yet. She pulls out this dirty old mask out from under the table and is like, put this on. And he's like, eh? Yeah, so, I mean, they were eating in this masquerade hall, so they had to have masks. Um, well, they had a little mask, private masquerade dance. Mm -hmm. It looked like the same guy who was playing the uh, accordion from earlier in the... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what? It's so awkward to have to... <laughs> it's like, dance for me, monkeys! Yes. Uh, <sighs> All right, so after that one-on-one -on -one date... Andy received another note from her secret what? admirer. All right, she's digging it. She loves those secret admirer notes. Who wouldn't? I think she really knows who it is. So the group date, they're walking around on their legs. They see a little <laughs> puppet show. They buy her a unicorn balloon. Whoever bought that <laughs> is the best. No, whoever bought it and then tied it to her wrist because she was too much of a baby to actually hold on to it. Genius. Yeah. All right, uh, they enter the torture chamber. 
There was like weapons and like this bloody rag or something. I don't know. What was the Shroud of Turin in there for crying out loud? It's a lie detector test. What? Oh snap. All the guys were like. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. Chris is hiding something. He doesn't want it revealed in front of all the guys. Well. That's too bad. <laughs> All right, they really built this up. It was quite ridiculous. Yeah, so Andy was like, okay, I'll go first. So she does a lie name detector Andy? test. They gave her the most ridiculous questions. <sighs> Is Italy your favorite country in the world? Yes. <laughs> Do you think all the guys are here for the right, right reasons? reasons. <laughs> right reasons. Of course. Yeah. Who's not? So they do her test, whatever. Okay, it's the guy's turn. Josh is freaking the freak out. Some of the questions were ridiculous. All oh right. my god, yeah. Are you there for the right reasons? Okay, whatever, fine. But then they were asking, like, have you slept with over 20 women? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wash your hands after you go to the bathroom? No. <laughs> Are you good in bed? Eh? It was crazy. Dylan kind of messed up. got so sick to his stomach that he had to go back to the hotel. He couldn't freaking handle it because yeah. he was the dirty potty hands <laughs> and the one who slept with over 20 women. It was it was so cool. It was like he was counting in his head. He was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he ended up leaving the date early because he really did not feel well. If you slept with over 20 women, you know that number. You don't got to think about it. I don't know. Well... One of the questions also was, are you the secret admirer? Yes. And Farmer Chris is the secret admirer. Yeah. It has been confirmed. So they got the results, and we find out. Three men have told no lies. Oh. Two men have told two lies. And one man. One dumb dirtbag told, told three, three lies. three lies. How many questions were there? I think there were quite I'm a, sure I there were a lot more than edited. we saw. Yeah, of course. Well... Andy told two lies, but who cares about the ones that she told? Well, they were dumb. They gave the guys her results, and they immediately looked at them. And she lied about Italy being her favorite country, and if all the guys were, if she thought all the guys were there for the right reason. Well, it was time for the guys' results to be revealed. And let me tell you, these two chumps that were doing the lie detector test were freaking hilarious. <laughs> I love them. Yes. Their accents were great, especially the guy asking questions in English. We'll get there. <laughs> All right. That was a little too Russian. I know. All right. So Andy is like, should I read the results or should I get rid of them? And the guys were like, uh, rip them, rip them. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, okay. I kind of had a feeling when this whole thing started um, that she wasn't going to end up looking at the results. Yeah, because those questions were a little bit too personal. I mean, come on. Why don't you ask them what their PIN numbers were? <laughs> What's your social security? Yeah, some of the guys were really relieved. Some of them... Some of them were still uneasy about it. Very uneasy. Even into the castle dinner slash cocktail party. Yes, yeah, so Brian came up with this little thing. He's like, Andy... I want to do a human lie detector test. Here, put your hand on my chest. Ask me some questions. So then he asked some ridiculous questions. I mean, she asked. Them. They switched. Right. Right. Then it was her turn, and I was waiting for him to put her, put his hand on her chest. But that didn't happen. I was waiting for him to say, have you had any work done? Uh. <laughs> All right. So Marcus opens up to her saying like, oh, I thought I was going to leave, blah, 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 blah. I'm she was here. really surprised that he would say that. Well, he was like, I'm in love with you. What? I think he's got mommy issues. He see I don't know about that, but he just seems very emotional. Very. And unstable. Mm, I... If you say so. I, well, I'm getting a vibe off of him that he's very immature. Josh is still being really, really weird about the lie detector test. I think he's hiding something. I don't know. I really do. I, I don't, don't know. I got a bad vibe off of him on the first show. I don't like his personality type. He seems like a real sporty jackass type. You he know. said don't judge him. Well... Proof's in the pudding, kids. All right. Well, he's like, Andy, uh, why would you do this? I thought we had trust. 
I feel like you don't trust me now, blah, 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 blah. And she's just like, well, I regret ripping up the results. <laughs> just ask the freaking producers, duh. All right, so Chris reveals to her that he is a secret admirer, and she was like, no, duh. All right. Pretty much. Well, Chris ended up getting the rose. She found that very sweet. It was, so. Well, right after he got the rose, Pants Dude freaks out. JJ's J like, um, I'm kind of getting sick of everyone. Yeah. JJ is looking rough. I don't know if it's just because he hasn't shaved. I, he looks really tired. Like, the light has left his eyes. It's he looks really like weird. He like the old dude that they made I him into. I was thinking that, too. He's aged, like, 30 years. Oh, my God. <sighs> Poor right. JJ. I know. Well, it's time for Cody's date. Hoklo get date. <laughs> All right. They're going to Verona. How special. Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Uh, where for art thou... Andy. Okay, so they go to this, like, Juliet Club place. Don't get me wrong. He's a really sweet yeah, guy. Yeah, really? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who are you, Nick? <laughs> he's a really sweet guy. Mr. I really Thankful. like him. But he's a little rough around the edges. And uh, I, I find it charming. All right, so it's dinner. And I'm sorry. They go to the Juliet Club first. This is a... This is an interesting place. It's almost like when you write a letter to Santa. Yeah. Apparently, I didn't know people did this. They have been yeah. writing letters to Juliet. Oh, that's a movie and a book. <laughs> letters to Juliet. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, isn't it Nicholas Sparks? But anyway. You write your problem <laughs> letters to Juliet. Yes. And someone there answers them and sends you back a reply. Yeah, so cool. Cody and Andy were working on replies for some people who wrote letters. And he came out with a pretty amazing reply. Yeah. Pretty well-spoken, well-written. She was like, oh, mine's crap. I'm not reading this out loud. Yeah. I'm sure, you know, for her being a lawyer, it was probably, like, inter interrogative. <laughs> or, like, a word? did you sign a contract? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks so dumb. All right, well... That was nice. And then they went on to dinner, and he actually wrote his own letter to Juliet. That was cute. And he was really, like, laying it on pretty thick and being very sweet. Mm -hmm. And she just starts crying out of nowhere. Oof. Before she started crying, she was looking very uncomfortable. She was like... She was like... Uh-oh. <laughs> she totally led him on on the beginning of the date. I really got the feeling, you know, where she was really putting herself out there, trying to reel him in, and she finally reeled in that big fish, and then she's got to cut him loose. Well, it was really sad. She was like, um, I see a friendship here, and nothing more. She was crying, and then she was like, yeah, I would take this pain a hundred times, that, you know, or a thousand times even, so that he wouldn't be in pain later on down the road. Like on hometown dates. Wow. She's always making herself into the victim. It's not always about you, Andy. Cody was the first one to go home on the one-on-one -on -one date this season. Yeah. Or Codester. Well, you know what? She had a camel toe in those oh! flesh coat pants. <laughs> Why would you wear know, that? I don't know any of them. And she was like, the way just she stop, was standing. Just stop, and... just stop. Cocktail party. <laughs> All right. Nick grabs her ass as soon as she walks through the door. Okay, so he greets her with a drink. She doesn't even get to say hi to the other guys. He's like, can I pull you aside? He whisks her off behind the wall. Immediate makeout. She's digging it. She likes the caveman thing. Well, everyone else was pissed. Especially since he has a rose already from a one-on-one -on -one date. Not yeah. cool, man. Well, basketball dude... He's getting in on the secret admirer thing. Only he signed <laughs> yeah. his name this time. Everyone on this show thinks they're a poet. Was that what it was? I don't it know. Some, he wrote something. I don't know if it rhymed or like made it sense. It doesn't have to rhyme. All right. Josh, he kind of pleaded, don't get rid of me. Oh, Joshy. <laughs> in so many, in some and substance, Andy. Okay. Well, uh, it's time for Andy's chat with Chris. Basically, it's all about her. I'm trying to hide and I'm Well, it is her hard. show. <laughs> Just date these mofos. You don't have to try that hard. Just do it. All right. It's time for the rose ceremony. Uh, side boob. Hua. 
Come on, it almost fell out. Oh, all right, so the first rose, this was a little bit of a surprise to us. Mm -hmm. First rose went to Dylan. I'm very surprised. And the last rose went to Josh. Oh, Josh. Th that's for dramatic purposes, of course. Bye-bye, uh, JJ. Oh, I felt so bad for him. He's looking too, he aged too much. He needs Sorry. to go get happy again. He didn't see it coming. Get that light back. You know what? It was the kiss of death when he was like, uh, I'm sick of everyone. Yeah. I'm sure that got back to her. I'm sure... No, never mind. <laughs> it's... I'm not... It's gonna take forever. All right. <laughs> Next week, get your A's to Brussels. And everybody hates Nick. Yeah. That's pretty much the theme. He's a villain. <laughs> All right. The best part of the entire show... The fun little clip at the end. Of course. Good stuff. The two chuckleheads at the lie detector test. Have you ever fought in the public? <laughs> they were trying to ask, have you ever fought in public? But that Italian accent... Fought. <laughs> have you ever fought in I think in all the of public? the guys were like, <clears throat> yes. Well, the one guy was like, uh, yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> all right. What other... What, liar. <laughs> Alright, till next time, much, much love. love. Edit.